shares of Apple ending the day up 4%. Big day for Apple. I think it's probably its best day of the year. I'm, I'm guessing if not, it's got to be close. It's on the back of reports that Apple will overhaul its MacBook lineup, but with new AI-focused semiconductors. But what, if anything, can Apple investors figure out about a bigger picture AI strategy from Tim Cook & Co.? Joining us now is more insights and strategy CEO, Patrick Moorhead. Patrick, we never, we never talked about MacBooks that much, but now they apparently are important. How come? Well, we're about to go into a super cycle for what the industry is calling an AI PC. That essentially means you do a lot of the AI processing on the device itself versus, let's say, the cloud. And realistically, it will be a balance. But uh, most people believe, including more insights and strategy, that that is going to make double digit increases in the PC market over starting in the middle of 2024 and going all the way through the end of 26. So it's a super cycle. What, what, if anything, can we read, though? Is there, is there a bigger crystal ball, tea leaf, whatever kind of a read on Apple's AI strategy from this, given that this is the one giant tech company for which we know about their augmented reality AR strategy with the Vision Pro? Can we take anything broader away from this, Patrick? Well, I think we can. Uh, Apple has always been relatively weak in cloud-based services. Uh, the most sophisticated cloud service that Apple has is backup and maybe the store. But what this pretends to is their strategy for AI will be on device and their pitch will likely be that it'll be higher performance, higher, better security, better privacy, and just leave the trust with Apple. And I think it's a pretty good play. And by the way, it's not necessarily unique because HP, Dell, Lenovo, Microsoft Surface with Qualcomm, Intel, uh, and AMD are replicating it. And I think consumers were wondering where, sorry, investors were wondering where's the bright spot for Apple, right? We've seen uh, the hits that Apple's taking in China with smartphones, uh, we saw them bail on cars to the future, uh, a good product, but but a muted response uh, with its AR capabilities. And this looks to be a bright spot for them. Yeah, because it is it is a little bit vexing on this and the MacBook. How much does the MacBook listen, MacBook is a probably the, the best, in my opinion, laptop out there. Uh, but how much does it matter to Apple as a whole? I mean, it's really the phone, it's services. Where's the MacBook fall? Well, it, it is a smaller percentage of what they do, and services are becoming an increasing part of that. But Apple's play is about selling you every device and every one of these devices working seamlessly with each other. Uh, I don't believe that the iPhone business would be as good as it is today, nor its services business without connectivity to watch and the MacBook. So it's a really systemic approach. And Brian, I believe 100 percent we're going to see the same on chip AI capability show up uh, in the iPhone. And we might get a little taste of it at WWDC conference coming up shortly.